I, this review is um, my first tank of using the Arch Oil AR6400-D um, in my truck. I've used, uh, I've gone through one tank of fuel now. Um, I've had a few other videos about my experiences so far with it. Uh, I wanted to make this follow-up one because I'm now, um, I just put in my first uh, few ounces of their, basically their, their every tank treatment, the, uh, the AR6500. Uh, so, um, in this one tank that I just went through, I have just driven around town like normal. Uh, I think I made one video where I, I was definitely noticing, uh, and I still have noticed an improvement in my, in my miles per gallon. Um, the first probably quarter tank, I, I was seeing some good results and I, I thought I could hear and listen, um, and, and hear, um, uh, like a better performance, uh, definitely less turbo drag, um, better responsiveness um, in the truck um, and how it drove. Um, I towed my fifth wheel, not too many miles, like 40 miles. Of, I have a, a 40 foot fifth wheel. Uh, my truck, sorry, I should tell you, this is the first video that you're seeing. It's a 2013 Ford F450, has just over 120,000 miles. It's been a great truck. Um, and I just started using the R12 product in the truck um, so in that first quarter tank I was when I started feeling like oh man it sounds good it feels good it's accelerating better smoother less lag more responsiveness so I started standing on it a little bit more kind of like pushing it hearing how it's gonna sound and all that and so I think I drove my miles per gallon down a little bit um, but overall like that first little bit I was getting um, I was getting into like the mid 14 so I was kind of impressed with that or mid to low 14s um, again I'm, I'm driving just my normal commute like I am this morning it's just it's uh, it's a little bit of uh, a little bit of highway driving and then just come some uh, back road like two-lane highway that a lot of people take I'm just north of Los Angeles so there's always traffic so there's a little bit of stop and go there's a little bit of waiting at lights. There's a little bit of city driving and just a little bit of on the highway. Um, so that's that's kind of my commute. So it's a little bit of mixed driving. Uh, I would expect if I got on the on the freeway and, and like say, you know, drove a few hundred miles, say like from my house to like San Diego or something like that, um, I would be expecting my truck um, to be getting like, like mid 14s um, if I'm cruising at like 70, 72 down there um so that, that's kind of where i'm expecting my my mpg to be at this point if not higher for like freeway driving um but uh what else let's see i like i said i went and brought my got my fifth wheel and brought it home to, to do some work on it one day um so that kind of that kind of threw my miles per gallon off um but i i did reset it just for that drive because it's a it's a common drive for me to go get my trailer, my storage unit, bring it to the house and take it back. So I kind of understand where I'm normally at when I tow. Um, in the past, uh, I would be like 8.1, 8.2 miles per gallon. Um, and on this one trip, um, I got 8.9 miles per gallon. Um, that could be a fluke, could be whatever, but that's just what I noticed. Um, I do have a big trip coming up, uh, be a few thousand miles, so I definitely will be updating either along the way or uh you know here and there on my way back kind of give a better review because i'll have you know a few thousand miles with towing um and i'll have been using their you know through this one tank like they say use this at the, at the beginning and then using this ar6500 um and then i'll be able to give you a better uh better idea of like what i'm seeing what, what my experiences are so hopefully that will help somebody else out that's interested in it or isn't sure about it or whatever. Um, let's see what else to tell you. Uh, so then after that, I think that was like my first half of my tank ish or so driven back and forth to work a little bit, picked up the kids, driven the kids around, like just your normal everyday driving. And, um, I had a reach in, um, after I dropped my trailer off, I had a region. I was the first region that I'd had. Um, and I don't know. Uh, I know that this is supposed to help. The Arch Oil is supposed to help with your um, 
with like reducing the amount of regens, but it's also supposed to help burn out and clean out uh, the diesel particulate filtered in there, right? So since then, um, I've noticed a significant, I guess as far as percentage wise, increase in my miles per gallon. So uh, like right now I'm cruising at, I'm at 14.8 miles per gallon, which is like, I can't even, I don't remember the last time my truck got over 14 miles per gallon. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Um, again, this was all within the first tank. Um, I had to, I couldn't run. I didn't feel like it was fair to run the full tank um, as is because I did put the, hook up the fifth wheel to it. So I know that was gonna skew the numbers. So I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna, um, you know, have it at the beginning and then add that little trip and then see if it makes up for it afterwards. Cause like I said, I don't, I don't think, you know, to, to review any product uh, and then tow a fifth wheel and, uh, was always, always gonna skew the numbers. So I reset my, uh, my fuel, uh, my fuel economy um, after I dropped the trailer off again and went back to unload it. And that's where I'm at right now, it's 14.8. So I'm pretty, pretty stoked on that. Um, definitely not upset about it. And um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be definitely using this Arch Oil for a while. Um, I've been pretty happy with it. The only other thing that I did in this first tank was I, I did an oil change and I added their, uh, their AR9100. It's the friction modifier. It's like a half a quart goes into when you do an oil change. Um, you know, time, time will tell on that. Um, I, it feels like my truck is quieter. Um, again, I have, I, you know, my model year is really quiet anyway, so I don't notice a significant difference in it, but I definitely do notice that it, it sounds quieter in the mornings. Um, it definitely sounds a lot quieter here in the cab now. Uh, not that it was ever really loud, but, um, I, I do notice that sound. I wish I would have done like a decimeter or something to really show that. Um, I can just tell you from my experience of what I'm hearing and seeing. So I have a brother that has a 7.3 liter uh, old Ford. So we ordered some for him and on his next oil change, um, we're going to throw it in there because his he does suffer from that cold start um, deal. So we're going to see if we really notice a difference with that. And uh, we'll try to do better about picking up those noises for you. So. Anyhow, that's uh, my one tank review, and uh, I'll let you know how the uh, 6500 uh, uh, treats me as I as I go on.